What's up, Flick Connection? This is Darren, and today I want to give you the top 10 family movies currently available on Netflix. So with Thanksgiving just around the corner, odds are you're going to end up with kind of a mixed group in terms of generation and family, and you might want to pick out a movie. These are going to be some of the best movies on Netflix currently that are good for a mixture of people. So they're family friendly, but they're not necessarily ones that are going to bore adults. These are ones that everyone should enjoy and that they should enjoy watching together. If you yourself have any additional recommendations of things you found on Netflix you think would be good for the whole family, please let us know in the comments below. People do read those and they'll pick out additional recommendations on top of the 10 that I'm going to give you here. So here we go with number 10. Peach Dragon. Now this is a fairly recent release, but it didn't do that well, but it's still a very good movie and it's very, very kid friendly. It is a kid's movie. It's essentially about uh, a boy named Peter who gets lost in the woods and he befriends and sort of uh, is, is almost sort of raised with a, a large dragon. The good thing for the kids is this dragon is furry and bright green, but as far as adults, uh, it, it deals with some heavy themes in terms of like this kid has been lost out in the woods for a really long time and they're trying to reintroduce him into society. So it's got some stuff that should like keep adults uh, uh, occupied at the very least, if not fairly well entertained, but it's not so heavy and so grim that it's going to really freak kids out. It's got a really nice balance. It was really well done. And it was done by a director who's done some really good kind of adult themed movies, but this one's fairly well rounded. For some reason, it just didn't get the buzz that some of the movies uh, uh, further up on our list got. Number nine, going to go with an animated movie, and that is Chicken Run. Now this movie is over 10 years old, but it, it's a classic stop motion by the same studio that did Wallace and Gromit, which everybody loves those movies. This one's great. The good thing about this movie for adults is it's got a lot of references to older movies like The Great Escape, because it essentially is like a prison break type of movie, which makes it cool for everybody. It's animation, so it's, it's rated you know, G, it's good for kids, it's going to keep them really entertained, there's a lot of action in it, but it's because it's got some of those references and things, adults are going to be entertained from beginning to end on this one. And the only thing that might be a little odd for this one for the season is it is about chickens trying not to get turned into chicken pies. It's a little close to turkeys trying to evade the chopping block, but it's chickens instead of turkeys, so I think you'll be all right. Number eight is another animated pick. I've got a couple more on this list, but everybody loves this one. It's a perfect time of year to start watching this one, and that's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the one everyone watching this video has seen. Netflix does a really horrible job of recommending things and letting you know when they're on the platform, so I can at least let you know here that it's available. And right after Thanksgiving dinner, some people are ready to start putting up the tree if you haven't done it already. So this is a good one to transition you from the Thanksgiving season into the Christmas and holiday season. Number seven is a throwback. It is a 90s, almost classic. Another Disney movie here, but we're going live action with cool runnings. Now, I picked this one basically because of what I explained at the beginning. This one's just one that everyone will enjoy. It's, it's a classic movie. It's well-rounded. It's entertaining from beginning to end. It's got a good message for the kids. Uh, kids today really are not going to even be aware of this story, so it's a great one to go back and re-watch. If you have kids old enough to watch this movie, odds are you saw it when you were a kid in the 90s. If you're older than that, Odds are you really remember this happening uh, when the, the Jamaican bobsled team, you know, entered the Olympics, the Winter Olympics for the first time. So it's just a really good story with that. John Candy, it's one of his last appearances. There's plenty of good things to say about this movie, but great one to just kind of sort of pick out if you're watching with parents, grandparents, kids, teenagers. Everybody should get something out of this one. Now, Netflix has a lot of animated movies. They've got Moana, they've got a, a ton of things that a lot of people have seen probably too many times. I'm not putting any of those on the list. They're great picks, but they've kind of been done to death, and I bet the adults uh, in the room are probably, you know, ready to tear their eardrums out from listening to some of the songs in some of those movies. So I want to go with some things that you haven't been watching over and over again. So with another animated pick at number six, I want to talk about The Iron Giant. 
Now, this is one that I really love. It's one of the last movies done in that uh, classic hand-drawn style. There have been some others, but this was definitely one of the last ones before everything really went digital. And it's just a really cool story. And the, the older generations watching this, you know, in the family group, are going to love it because it takes place in the 50s. It's sort of Cold War era, uh, bomb scare. It's got some of those elements that um, are, are really interesting in the movie, but aren't done in a way that are just going to horrify the kids either. But it's about a kid who has a giant pet robot from outer space. So, you know, kids are going to love that. And then adults are going to love some of the other sort of retro themes in it. And then the animation style is just fantastic. This is probably one of my favorite movies on this list, but it lands in the middle because it is animated. But I, I really, if you haven't seen it, this one's probably higher up on the list for you. Number five, I love this one as a kid. It deals with a little bit heavier themes, so you don't want really little kids watching this. But if you've got anyone that's maybe seven, eight or up, and, and you're trying to please, you know, grandparents, adults, and then kids of that, that age, Turner and Hooch is a really fun movie from beginning to, you know, about the 90% mark. And then it turns into almost like a crime thriller. So you do have to be careful of that. There's a shootout at a certain point. Um, th there is sort of some heavier themes in terms of, of the dog. But everyone has seen this movie, but it's basically about a cop who has to take on a dog because he's a key witness in a crime and they're trying to use him. It's not as cheesy as it sounds, but they're trying to use him to uh, identify maybe someone that was there with it. It's one of Tom Hanks' earlier movies. I, I don't want to ramble on about it too much because this is one of those movies everybody's seen, but it's currently on Netflix and it's a really solid pick for the whole family. It's kind of harder to find these like really well-rounded movies lately. It, there's a lot more of the, for kids or for adults and that sort of gray area in between, we're, we're sort of losing those. I've got one really good one later on this list though. Number four, we're going to go way, way, way back. The furthest back we're going to go on this list with Young Frankenstein. Now, the older generations will love this movie for obvious reasons. It's a Mel Brooks classic. But it should really entertain kids, and it should help introduce kids to uh, sort of a black and white movie if they've never really seen one or never really watched a full-length black and white movie. This would not be a bad one to start with. Because it's entertaining, and I think they're going to be surprised how funny it is. Because it's not as old as it looks, but it still will kind of help kids learn that, like, there's a lot out there, and it doesn't just have to be the latest and greatest to be fun and entertaining. So for that reason, this one should be really fun. But it's fairly clean fun for the whole family. There's a few little moments in there, but it's, it's, it's pretty subtle. Um, you know, wink, wink. So it's not stuff the kids are necessarily just going to pick up on. Uh, so I think it's safe to watch for that reason. But this one should just be fun. If you didn't know it was there, th this is a great one. It would have been great to watch during Halloween, but it's also just great when the family's together. And number three, another one of my favorites on this list, Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Uh, I just love this movie. It's so much fun. A lot of people don't know this, but it happens to be Tim Burton's first film. It's his directorial debut for a feature-length film. And so that's kind of cool. And once you know it, you can kind of see it because there are a couple little elements in this movie that kind of you know freaked me out a little bit when I was a kid but it's not bad and it's just like if you watch this when you were a kid again in the 90s it's just so much fun to watch now it'll be fun to watch with the kids uh, I don't know how entertaining the grandparents are going to be with this one but still it's one the whole family can watch and it's fun and it's just like I can sit and watch this one by myself and be thoroughly entertained and at number two one of the newest movies on this list and and really one of the best it's, it's the live action remake of The Jungle Book. Uh, this movie was just fantastic and it did really, really well at the box office and I'm glad it did. Now they're going to be doing The Lion King. Uh, in fact, it's just sort of a formula Disney's going to be going with. They're going to be kind of pumping out these remakes until they start to be horrible, which will happen. But this is one of the first live action remakes they've done. It's fantastic. John Favreau did an incredible job directing. Uh, glad he sort of came back into the fold with the bigger movies because he does a really good job with them. But just fantastic. Great for the whole family. Maybe a little too intense for really small kids because it, it, it does feature large predatory animals. I mean, there is a, a scary tiger that is attacking other animals and chasing down little Mowgli. So you want to be careful for that. 
But if you're not watching with anybody that's too, too little, this one's fantastic. Everyone will love it if they haven't already seen it. And even if they have it, it's a fairly rewatchable movie, especially if you've got like a nice big screen to watch it on. And number one, no matter how many times you've seen it, it's always fun to watch Harry and the Hendersons with the family. This one's got, you know, so many different elements in it, but it's entertaining for adults. Kids will be excited to watch it. It doesn't have anything really inappropriate. There's nothing sexual. There's no language. There's mild violence, but it's handled it in a fairly decent way. Um, it's exciting. Uh, it's funny. It's just got the, it's got everything going for it so if you if you have to pick out one movie and you're not going to rent something new and you're just looking for something on netflix that you're going to watch with people in their 60s 40s 30s teens and younger harry and the hendersons is the safest and best bet currently available on netflix which makes it the number one pick thanks for watching likes are always appreciated but you will see me next time